Okay, today we're gonna to talk about price reductions. But first off, I would encourage you to watch Alex's video about how to price a property correctly and certainly not overprice it. But what happens if you do overprice it or you find that the market's not responding to the price that you're at? When you price reduce, how much should you price reduce by? Let's take a specific example and we'll illustrate why a proper price reduction is so important. Let's say you have a property that's listed around 1.5 million and a few weeks have gone by and you haven't gotten any offers. And now a month has gone by and you're considering a price reduction. Well, how much should you reduce by? Some sellers might think that a $50,000 reduction, so the 1.5 goes to 1.45, is an appropriate reduction. We would argue differently. A $50,000 reduction off of a 1.5 asking price does absolutely nothing. No new buyers will come to the table and no new buyers will see your property. At the end of the day, if somebody wanted your property and they wanted it for 1.45, they'd have made you that offer when you were asking 1.5 to begin with. For you to actually get new buyers and new eyes on your property, it has to be at least 100,000 in this case. You have to be around 1.399 minimum to actually make it difference and basically say to the buyers, we are negotiable, please bring us offers. At which point you might expect to see offers around 1.375, maybe 1.385 if you hold your ground. But again, a small little deduction might make sense to you because you're thinking to yourself, well, it's 50,000. But just remember, if the buyers were able to bring you that offer on your original asking price, then what you've done is absolutely nothing. You've just appeased yourself into thinking that you've made some sort of difference, but the results in actuality will be absolutely no different.